What's up guys, Velo here back again with another video and today I want to talk about burnout in Fortnite. This is something that if you play the game long enough and if you play it often, it's likely you're going to have a moment where you just are kind of getting tired of playing the game or maybe you're just stuck in a rut doing the same thing every single day and that's what I want to get into today. All right, number one, if you're experiencing burnout playing Fortnite, take a break. Don't be afraid to take a couple days off or even a couple weeks. Just take a break from the game. It's gonna let you rejuvenate and come back hungrier than ever and excited to play the game again. You see this with the pro players all the time and even professional athletes. I used to coach uh, competitive triathletes and we would have breaks that you would take on micro cycles throughout the week. You would set aside time throughout the week where you would take a break from your training. And in this case, it's a video game and breaks within the month you know maybe you have a week every now and again that you just that whole week you take off or you just really dial back how much you play and then annually the, the macro cycle throughout the year setting aside time where you just step back and that might be during these phases in the game where things just kind of get stale for you and right now a lot of people are at home playing the game a lot and that repetition can get a little boring. All right, number two is play other games. I know a lot of people are at home right now and video games is just your way to escape everything that's going on in the outside world. And playing Fortnite all the time, like I said, can get a little old. Play something different, mix it up. You know, there's a lot of games out there that you guys can play for absolutely free, if not very inexpensive. You can look on Epic, you can look on Steam, Battle.net, there's so many different places that you guys can go and get these games and play these games. And if you have questions, if you want examples, I've been playing um, some Valorant, I've been playing Dauntless, I've even played a little bit of the Warzone, all of these different, there's so many. In fact, switch around the type of game you're playing. Don't just do shooter games, get into some fighting games or some strategy games or adventure games and things like that. That'll really help refresh the mind, refresh the body. And then when you come back to Fortnite, It'll be a new game again, and it'll be exciting. All right, number three, and this kind of goes with number two, but play different games within Fortnite, right? If you're just kind of getting bored with the same everyday routine you get on, you play squads or you play solos or you play arenas, don't do that. Switch it up. Do something different. Play duos or play Team Rumble or maybe one of the LTMs. Like right now, there's Operation Knockout. But guys, even more than that, Fortnite Creative, it's, it's a platform for thousands and thousands of games. It's endless what, what you guys can play. And if you guys don't know how to get in there, check out some of these other videos that I'll post right here with a little link. But you guys can play Search and Destroy. You can do Adventures Maps. You can play puzzle games. There's so much you can do inside of Fortnite Creative that is totally different. It feels like a completely different game. I encourage you guys to get in there and just mix it up when you're playing Fortnite. Do something different. That will definitely help. Just bring it back. Bring that mojo back. All right, number four, and this kind of expands on what I was just saying, but get creative. Make your own map or collaborate with some other people or bring up some ideas and create your own map. And if you don't know how to make a map in Fortnite Creative, there's tons of YouTube videos out there that will teach you that. Learn a new skill. That in itself can be exciting and fun, right? It can be challenging too, but learning that and making your own map and having it be your own is really rewarding. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I love making maps in Fortnite. I'm doing it all the time. In fact, recently, that's all I've been doing is stuff in Fortnite Creative. So go ahead and check that out, guys. Get creative and have a good time doing that. That will absolutely break up that monotony of just every single day doing the exact same thing inside of Fortnite. All right, number five, and this one might sound a little mean, but make new friends. Play with different people, mix it up. And it's nothing wrong with the people that you're playing with right now, but I encourage you, reach out into the Fortnite community on things like Facebook, on Discord, on Twitter, meet new players through randoms and stuff like that until you find some people that you're interested in and you wanna play with them and you're having new conversations. The game is playing different. The whole experience is gonna be different. It's not that you can't go back and play with the people you were playing with before, but mix it up. It's just a fresh way to have a good time and just kind of get out of that rut, kind of like we were talking about before. All right, number six, um, change up your settings. You know, one of the reasons that people get burnt out in a game is that they, they're putting in a lot of time and they're not seeing any progress, right? They're just not getting better or whatever their goal in the game, but maybe changing your settings. Your settings could be what's holding you back and it could be the thing that you know is holding you back and you're afraid to change. I was afraid to change one of my build buying keys, but I had to do it. I knew that I had to do it to improve and I recently did it thinking it was going to take weeks, but I'm telling you, two days, I was completely used to it. I'm glad that I made the switch. 
but use this time now guys to try out some different settings and maybe they don't work out and you go back, but it's worth a try. Like right now is a good time to go into creative, to go into some of these practice maps and work on using different build binds, switching up where you put your weapons, changing your sensitivity, things like that. It's just a good way to have a new look on the game and it's gonna get you excited to learn again. It's gonna make it feel fresh. All right, number seven, and, and this one really just depends on your goals within the game, but for me personally, in everything I've ever done in life, and, and also in every video game I've ever played, I always wanna improve, I always wanna get better. I think most people do, and the best way that you guys can do that, and a great way to make the game exciting and fresh and different, is to practice is to go into some creative maps and do some edit courses and do some aim courses and do some free buildings and work on new skills that you've never done before. Okay, I'm telling you, if you go find a new skill, something that you wanna do or you, you don't even know that you can't do it, go on YouTube, look up some high ground retakes or maybe some different edits. I'll watch the pros and be like, oh my God, what high ground retake was that? How did he do that? And I'll go into YouTube and I'll slow it down. You can do that in YouTube, you can slow the videos down. And I'll try to figure out how to do that. And I'll tell you, if you go into creative and you do a new build or a new side jump or a new edit or a new shot that you couldn't do before and you do it, that's rewarding. That's exciting stuff, guys. So I encourage you, get into a practice routine. This is a great way to improve at the game. And I'll tell you what, you're probably going to have more fun if suddenly you're playing at a higher level and your friends are noticing it and you're like, damn, Milo, you're looking like you're getting a lot better at the game. Yeah, I've been practicing, you know, I kind of got bored doing the same old thing every single day, dying the same ways every single day. So I started practicing and I started improving. And that right there is a great way to kind of get the ball rolling again. All right, number eight, guys, and this is the last one. But actually, right now in the group, this is super popular in our group. And in fact, if I go on on Fortnite right now, I bet the majority of my friends are in creative right now playing Zone Wars and playing box fights. Now, if you guys have never done this before, this is just a mini version of the game to really work on more of the combat situations where you're doing these you know, build fights and in box fights in close quarters scenarios. And A, it's really exciting, it's fast paced, and it's interactive. You get to communicate with the people that you're playing with and it's fun, it's exciting. And I tell you what, the people that have been doing it recently that I see in the group who, you know, maybe they weren't, they're not a very good player. They're all improving just by doing these zone wars consistently. And it's, again, it's different than what they were doing before. They were just playing squads every single day with the same old people, not practicing. And now they're practicing and they're doing zone wars and they're getting better and they're meeting new people and they're having a good time, guys. So I encourage you, get out there and do some zone wars. We play them most nights of the week. You guys can see them on my stream, twitch.tv slash velo stinks. I'll leave a link to that right here. And yeah, guys, that's those are my tips for you. So let's kind of recap here. Number one, take a break. Don't be afraid to step away from the game periodically for extended periods of time. Play different games, okay? Mix it up. Have other things that you can do. When Fortnite's getting boring, you're not just continuing to play more Fortnite. Play something different. I'm telling you that alone is gonna make a difference. Number three, play different games within Fortnite, whether that's in creative or just playing different game modes. Number four, make your own map. Get into creative, go watch some YouTube videos, learn how to do it. And in fact, guys, drop the codes to your maps down below. I wanna go check out your maps, okay? Do that. Number five, make new friends, play with new people. Just make it fresh, interact with those guys. Number six, change your settings, mess around with some different sensitivities or binds. Number seven is practice, practice. You know, get out there and, and get better at the game. You know, that's gonna make it more enjoyable. And number eight, get involved in zone wars, do box fights, just do something different. It's gonna change the pace, you're gonna have fun, I promise, and you're gonna get better. All right guys, that's it for the video. If you did enjoy this, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, Guys, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Help me get there. Let's do that. If you enjoyed this, support this channel. Hit that subscribe button, absolutely free. That's, that's it. Actually, that's not it, because if you're getting tired of playing Fortnite, you can watch me play Fortnite over at twitch.tv slash VeloStinks. Guys, head over there, hit that follow button. I really do appreciate it. If you're so compelled, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and maybe we'll play some games together. All right, that's it, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. How's a closer? Kona. That was it. That was a closer. Look at the camera. We did it. <laughs> Give me get that. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right.